Hi friend, welcome to my channel and today I'll be showing you guys how to make these easy fall off the bone baby back ribs. Oh friend, you're gonna love this. All right, let's get right into it. So here's the ribs that I'm using. I'm using some baby back ribs. Make sure you use baby back ribs and not pork spare ribs because the baby back ribs are more tender and they're also a little more pricier. But yes, use them. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean our meat with some lime juice and some vinegar. That's what you've seen. I poured in there with some lime juice and some vinegar so that I can clean my meat. Okay. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the membrane that's in the back of the ribs because it's going to make the ribs more tender. That's why we're removing that. OK, so we're just going to go ahead. We're going to pull it off and then I'm going to show you guys how to properly do it on the second one. Sometime when you're trying to grip it, it's kind of hard to get a grip. You can use a paper towel to help you grip it. But um, I was able to do it without the paper towel. But I'm just letting you know, friend, just in case you need some help. You can, OK, so I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to stick it that way. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just try to get some of the membrane to lift up. Because once it's lift up, then I could go ahead and I could hold on to it and I could pull it off. Ooh, child, pull it off. You're going to pull it off for real. It look like it's really hard, but it's really not really that hard for real, friend. Like when I was pulling it, it was like it was easy when I was pulling it. OK, all right. So you're just going to go ahead. You're going to pull it off friend. you're going to pull it off like. You've been wearing this wig all day and it's hot outside and you finally get in the house and you just going to pull that wig right off your head. Woo. Child, just like that. Okay. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and there's a little piece remaining that didn't come off when I took the big piece off. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use my knife to get up under there so it could lift just like I did with the other piece. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull it right back off. I'm going to pull it right off just like that. Okay. Boom. So then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that little piece because I didn't like it. And then I'm going to just go ahead and maneuver it into that lime juice and some vinegar. And then I'm going to take it and put it under some lukewarm water or cold water. Just do not use hot water. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to rinse our meat. We're going to clean our meat. Baby, if you don't want to clean your meat, baby, that's your business. Let's agree to disagree because you ain't going to change your ways and I ain't going to change mine. But so if you don't like this part, babe, just, just go ahead and skip it, baby. But over here, we're going to clean ours every single time. All right. All right. So then we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a paper towel and we're going to just pat it dry so we can remove all that excess water. And you see, I'm even using um, the paper towel to dry off the aluminum tray. OK. And if you cannot find yourself a big aluminum tray like this, you can always cut your ribs in half and use a small aluminum tray. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab some yellow mustard and um, we're going to put that on there. And if you don't like mustard, and you're like, oh, my goodness, I hate mustard. Friend, we're, we're on the same boat because I don't I don't like mustard. I I don't like the taste of that. I see people eat mustard with hot dogs. That's the, I can't do it. I can't do it. But the reason why we're adding the mustard is because it's going to help the rub stick onto the baby back ribs. OK, and you're not going to taste the flavor of the um, of the mustard at all. OK, friends. So if you don't like mustard, have no fear because the taste of the mustard is not going to get into the meat. OK, it's just there as like an oil to help stick, to help the, the seasoning stick. Okay. That's why we're using it. Okay. So I use about two to three tablespoons of that yellow mustard. Some, um, you could use more or less, whatever you want. Just make sure it's well coated all in the meat so that your rub can stick onto the meat. All right. All right. Then when we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start seasoning our, um, our ribs and friend this ain't the salt and pepper seasoning we don't do that over here we're gonna use some real seasoning okay we're gonna use some real rub to put into that um ribs all right friend so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to use this seasoning right here we're going to add this brown sugar make sure you grab the right one when you're at the grocery store because they have another one it says brown sugar with wood fire garlic rub but if you're in a rush because the brown sugar is written so big you could grab it instead of the one that only say brown sugar so make sure you 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 get the right one friend okay then i went ahead and i added one tablespoon of that then i went ahead and i added one tablespoon of famous dave's rib rub pork seasoning don't worry you guys you know i'm gonna have the exact ingredients and measurements for you in the description box below have no fear your girl freddie is here okay then we're gonna just massage that into the meat we're gonna make sure we're good to the meat because if we're good to the meat the meat will be good to you am i talking my ribs
<laughs> anyway, then we're going to go ahead. We're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to add one tablespoon of the brown sugar and we're going to add one tablespoon of the famous Dave's. Okay. And we're going to put, um, we're going to marinate that well into there. We're going to rub it right in there. And I did go back and I added a half of tablespoon of, um, the brown sugar to each side. Okay. So I added, um, two and a half tablespoons of that. Okay. All right. So then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to mix everything well together. You guys, if you have time when you're done mixing everything and you're done scrum rubbing that rub into the ribs, let it sit for approximately two to three hours. If you have the time, friend. If you don't have the time, just go ahead and put that bad boy in the oven just like that. And it will turn out phenomenal. I promise you. I guarantee you, friend. All right. We're going to put the ribs right side, meat side up. Okay. We're going to put it meat side up and then we're going to go ahead. That's how we're going to put it into the oven. When we put it into the oven, we're going to have our oven at 400 degrees and we're going to put it covered in the middle rack for three hours to three and a half hours. You can always check on this after two hours to see if it's tender enough to be taken out. But I always let mine sit for two, um, for three hours or three and a half hours. Okay. This one was three hours. So it was in there for three hours. And this is how it looked when it come out the oven. Oh, baby. I had to do a close up. You could see that thing falling off the bone, baby. Ooh, child. Yes. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to set that to the side. Then I'm going to go ahead and make this little barbecue sauce. Yeah, this thing is going to be so good. Trust me. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some sweet baby rays. Okay. And don't come over here talking about sweet baby rays. Got this and already that. Friend, if you don't like it, then don't do it. Then don't use sweet baby rays. But this is what I like and this is my food. So I'm going to make it the way I like it. And if you make, and if you make it, you're going to like it. Trust me. Trust me, okay. I, when I was making this, y'all, my sister came over and I asked her if she wanted some. She told me no, she was on a diet, she only wanted a little bit. So I gave her a little bit of ribs. You're gonna see me because she couldn't even wait. So I ended up giving her a little bit of ribs. She said she ain't want no sauce, y'all. She don't like sauce on her on, on her ribs. Let me tell you how this girl taste the sauce talking about oh this tastes good what you put in it what you put in it Child. anyway i put some grape jelly i put a little bit of mustard and then i put a little bit of brown sugar and you know i'm gonna have the measurements for you in the description box below so she ended up loving the barbecue sauce and then i asked her was she gonna take some food to go home she said no she was on a diet she wasn't gonna take no ribs to go home y'all so i'm like okay sis no problem let me tell you how the next day I made I made this yesterday. Literally, I made this yesterday. And then um the next day, which is today, my sister called me. I don't I, I got by four or five missed calls from my sister. I'm like, yo, this must be an emergency. So I pick I, I call her back and I'm like, yo, sis, what's going on? Oh, sis, you got some more of them ribs left? Man, I'm like, what you mean? See, that's the piece I was giving to my sister. I'm like, what you mean? And you guys, this rib is so tender. Every way I was trying to flip it over, it was breaking because it was so tender. I mean that thing was falling off the bone as y'all can see and when i'm trying to flip it over it's giving me a run for my money because it's falling apart as i'm trying to flip it over that's how you know it's tender child yes anyway so she's like you got some more of that ribs i'm like no nah, the ribs gone i don't fed it to my family oh she she was heated she was mad so then she called me oh sis you post a video on youtube yet i'm like no sis i just made it yesterday i need to edit it and do stuff to it she's like well sis when you gonna post it you need to hurry up and post it i'm about to go to the store right now to get the stuff to make it i'm like girl i know my ribs was good look at that your mouth calling for them ribs girl so i had to hurry up and upload this video so that my sister can make these ribs today because she wouldn't she 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 wouldn't let me live my life. And this is it, you guys. After I put the barbecue sauce in it, I put it in the oven back on the top top rack, still at 400 degrees for 30 minutes until the um, barbecue sauce caramelized. And you guys, let me give these beautiful tender ribs a moment of silence for the beauty that they hold.
friend who be careful who you make these ribs to because they're going to have people at your dough at two o'clock in the morning asking if, if you got more ribs who <laughs> i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you because this right here these bones going to fall right off the bone friend thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye until next time